Hello again our children and young people and their parents if you happen to be watching. It's Tom again back here at CBC in the youth room and we're going to carry on our series of looking at Jesus. Here's some of the names we had from last week for Jesus up on our impact board and this week we're going to be looking um, at following Jesus and what it is to follow Jesus and why do we follow Jesus and it's good I think to start with the game. So we are going to start with the game I'm not sure how this is going to work, so it might be that I do a couple of rounds of this and then I, I advise you to pause and you can maybe play a little bit more amongst yourselves before we move on. But we are going to play one of our favourite games uh, on both a Sunday morning and on a Friday night. And we're going to play a bit of Simon Says and I'll hopefully catch you out. So, Simon Says, put your hands on your head. Simon Says, put your hands on your shoulders. Put your hands on your knees. Gotcha! I'm sure I got you, Brandon. I'm not so sure about you, Hope. I'm sure you got away with it. All right, we'll do a couple more rounds. So, Simon says, cover your eyes. Simon says, cover your ears. I'm only joking. Simon says, cover your mouth. Cover your nose. Ooh, who did I get that time? I think you all got away with that one. So, we're going to do this one more time. For follow what I'm doing, follow what I'm saying. Remember, only do it when Simon says to do it. So, Simon says, touch your toes. Simon says, touch your hair. Simon says, touch your elbow. Touch your other elbow. Ooh, I think I got all of you that time. Okay, so that is a game of Simon Says, where you're following what Simon says to do. Now, why don't you pause the video for a couple of seconds, and why don't you do it with your mum or your dad, or your brother or your sister? Just a few more rounds, because it's a bit of fun. Okay, so, who won? Did you win? It's hard to tell, isn't it? But that's an interesting game, isn't it? It's all about following. All about following instructions, doing what you're told, obeying the right person at the right time, but not following when Simon isn't the one that tells you to do it. It's, it's a good game, it's a fun game. So when is it good to follow? And when is it not good to follow? Maybe have a little think, a little chat with your parents, and we'll think about that. So, when is it not good to follow? Or maybe it's not good to follow when somebody's doing something a bit naughty or something's doing something a bit wrong. Or as we say as a Christian, when somebody is sinning, that maybe is a time to not follow. Um, there is an old saying in my household that if your sister jumped off the cliff, would you follow her and do it? Because no, I wouldn't. That is not a good time to follow. So there are, there are times not to follow, but when is a good time to follow and who is a good person to follow? Well, it's good to have good role models. So if there is somebody in your life that is um, well behaved, doesn't sin much, doesn't do much wrong, they're a good example to follow. Maybe how your parents do things is the right way of doing things. They are maybe a good example to follow. But there is one who is the perfect example to follow. Can you guess who that is? I will give you a clue. Jesus. That is right. It is the old Sunday school classic answer of Jesus. He is always good to follow and one of our favourite things to see young people do, children do, is to choose to follow Jesus. So why would you do that? Why do I do that? Well, I follow Jesus because he is my friend, um, because he speaks to me, um, because he died on the cross for me, uh, and because I know that if I follow him, I'm on the right path towards good things. Um, it is amazing and so good to follow Jesus. And when I go off on paths which he's not on, generally it doesn't lead to very good things. It doesn't lead to very happy things. And I never quite feel that, that wholeness that comes from following him. So it is good to follow Jesus. Now the Bible talks about this a couple of times. So it talks about it in John. So it turns to your Bibles. I've got the youth Bible today as I'm in the youth room. And we're in John 8. And if you look at John 8, 12, it simply says this. Later, Jesus talked to the people. Again, Jesus talked to people all the time. He was really good like that saying, I am the light of the world. The person who follows me will never live in darkness, but will have the light that gives life. Now, what does that mean? 
Well, it basically means that there are two ways of living. You can live by not following Jesus, but when you live by not following Jesus, you're in that darkness. And we know from our films like Star Wars and Marvel and Star Trek that the darkness is not the good way to live. That the darkness is quite often um, a very sad place to be. Uh, and that quite often we get covered in that darkness and it is, it is not a nice place to be. Or the other way is to follow Jesus and to live in the light. And you know what? Whenever you turn a light on, the darkness goes away. Light overwhelms darkness every time. And with the light, there comes goodness, there comes sinlessness, there comes uh, happiness, uh, and there comes um, lots of strong words like, like redemption and being saved. And it is so much better to live in that light than it is to live in that darkness, which is why it's so good to follow Jesus and have that light on our side, to follow the light track, not the dark track. So that's really cool. And then another passage is later on, Peter, 1 Peter, he writes, let me just find it. He writes in chapter 2, verse 21. This is what you were called to do. Because Christ suffered for you and gave you an example to follow, so you should do as he did. Now, following Jesus, therefore, means that we live in light. It means that we are not in that horrible darkness, that bad place to be. But it doesn't mean it's going to be easy. It means that we still might have suffering. We still might have struggles. And it still might be really hard. But we have to remember what Jesus did to us. And that example he set to us on the cross. He died for us so that we could never have to die. We could live for eternity. And that is so cool. And that is somebody that is worthy of being followed. Um, so even when it might seem like it's the more difficult option to follow him, even when the dark path seems like the easier path, maybe maybe the path all your friends are taking, maybe the path that looks more fun from the outside, just remember that 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 light that light path, that path of following Jesus, leads to that eternity, leads to that good news, despite the struggles, and that is the path that we're called to follow. So follow Jesus. Follow the light and you will find that you have the greatest reward of all. And that is Jesus. So I hope you enjoyed your playing this morning with Simon Says. Let me know in the comments who won the games. Um, and uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Um, Michelle will be on um, our Zoom chat uh, next Sunday or this Sunday this afternoon um, at... Uh, two o'clock and then next Sunday as well again at two o'clock so do join us uh, the link should have been emailed to your parents um, but yeah just remember what it is you've got two options follow Jesus don't follow Jesus uh, and for me it's the easiest choice in the world is to follow him and that's what I want to do forevermore so take care God bless and see you soon bye bye